Welcome back to Orchid House. I'm Olivier in Fort Lauderdale, and today I would like to show you uh, male, female, and hermaphrodite flowers. Uh, and we have here a pretty unusual occurrence with one single spike and three different types of flowers. So the male flower is the showy one, the pretty one. There's two of them at the top. Then you have one hermaphrodite here, and then this is the female, a single female flower. And there are, there's another hermaphrodite here on the side. <coughs> so this is highly unusual. Uh, first of all, calasidums are unusual because unlike most orchids, uh, their flowers are not perfect. So they have either a male or a female flower. Other orchids have, they are both, I mean, uh, at the same time. They're always, always hermaphrodite. Uh, Typically, uh, on one single spike, you're going to have either male or female, not both. So this is already unusual as it is, uh, because last year it bloomed three times, and each time it had male and female flowers on the same spike. The same plant can produce either flower, uh, but female flowers are a lot more rare. It's believed that higher light and older plants trigger them, because apparently the, the energy needed to make a female flower uh, it's much uh, higher. There's a lot more effort made by the plant and so it needs a lot of energy from the sun and also from being a, a sturdier plant, being an older plant. Now, female flowers are not only uh, rarer, but they are uh, fewer. So if you have uh, an inflorescence with like maybe 15, 15 male flowers, you might only have two female flowers. The difference though is that the female flower lasts a lot longer. So if your male flower will typically last one or two weeks, the female might last three to six weeks. Now, this is basically what a male flower looks like when it's in bud. So you have these this elongated buds. That's your standard uh, future male flower. Uh, here you have standard female flower it's it's just thicker I mean you can tell from the shape this is still pretty young but it, this is gonna be a female flower uh, the interesting part about the the first orchid I showed you is that not only does it have male and female but it has two hermaphrodites and these hermaphrodites when they were buds they look like female flowers and then it turned out it to be something that looks like a male, but you see the male has a flat lip. And this hermaphrodite has a, a completely uh, cut lip, very different. And it's basically, he couldn't make up his mind between male and female. Also, by the way, uh, the, the pollen was triggered, which means that this flower now will die. It's going to be its last day. Now... Male flowers are really the way to tell uh, calasidum uh, plants uh, apart. Uh, they are the pretty ones, but they're also vastly different looking. Your standard female flowers looks the same across all uh, uh, species. Basically here, uh, you see you have a, a green helmet. This one has a, has a golden heart, but that's basically the look of all the female flowers across all the different uh, species of, of, of calasidum. So I really wanted to show you this today because this is highly unusual. First of all, the hermaphrodite flowers are not very common. And the fact that we have, it's not a big uh, inflorescence, it only has five flowers, but having one female, two males and two hermaphrodites uh, on the same spike is, is pretty exceptional. Unfortunately, this is a no ID plant. It was given to me by a friend without a tag. And while typically I don't keep those because I don't like that, I like to know what I have. I kept it because the, the, the flower is so pretty. I think it's very, very special. So I hope that someday somebody will be able to tell me, hey, I've got the same flower and this is what you have. So if you recognize the flower, please reach out to me. Thank you very much. Have a great day.